okay so uh, today we we are supposed to do the second chapter We're supposed to take a look on economic systems uh, so with regard to economic systems we are giving reference to the matter in which an economy uh, uses its factors of production it gives much reference to who owns and controls the factors of production okay economic systems okay so when we are focusing on economic systems we have three uh, different economic systems the first one is a market uh, economy which is also known as a free market economy and then the second one is a command command economy and then we have the third one which is the a mixed economy mixed economy okay so these are the three economic systems we are saying that within an economy either the economy a uh, makes use of a free market economy or of a command economy or of a mixed economy so they give these three economic systems they give a reference in the use of a production inputs in a different way they also place much emphasis in terms of who control and owns resources in also a different way so in a market economy the first one in a market economy in a market economy the first one market economy so this is a type of economy which is characterized by the private sector which is characterized by the private sector the private sector is the sector which controls which owns and controls it owns and controls owns and controls all resources okay so we have the private sector here we have private individuals we have private firms whom owns and controls all the available resources okay so in this type of economy we must also take a look on how does it answers what are known as the fundamental uh, questions the fundamental economic questions of the fact that what these are three fundamental questions that we take into account what to produce is the first question that this type of economy is to answer and it answers it differently from the command economy and the mixed economy so we have what to produce uh, for whom the second one is for whom to produce for whom to produce for and then the third one the third one the third one in what quantities in what quantities what quantities to produce okay so a market economy a command economy and a mixed economy it answers these three fundamental questions differently what to produce the market economy answers what to produce by the fact of what is 
profitable. It only produces what is profitable. It only produces what is profitable. So this is just like a private entity, just like a private individual. Of course, a private individual will always produce what is profitable. If something becomes unprofitable, he switches or she switches uh, those resources to produce anything which is profitable. For whom to produce, they produce for those who can afford. For those who can afford. And in what quantities to produce, they simply produce what the market demands. What the market demands, okay? So, these are the fundamental questions that we must take into account when we are focusing on the economic systems. So this is with regard to the market economy. We must place emphasis on how does it answer these three fundamental economic questions. Okay. So the other one is the command economy. The other one, the second one is the command economy. The second one is the command economy. In a command economy, the government, the government owns and controls, it owns and controls all resources. So this is a type of economy in which uh, it is much comprised of the government itself. It is the government which does own and control all available resources. So we must also take into account how does it answer these three fundamental questions of what to produce. So this is now the government now. What to produce. So on what to produce, it produces what is desirable it produces what is desirable no matter is it profitable or not the government will still provide for those services okay it still provide for those services whether it is profitable or not that's why we have scenarios in which the government can provide for some resources even at a loss okay even at a loss they produce for those services okay so the other question that it is to answer this type of economic system for whom to produce for for whom to produce for for whom to produce for okay so for whom to produce for how does the government answer those type of question okay for whom to produce for it produces for everyone it produces for everyone it could be public health, it could be uh, public schools. The government simply provides those services for everyone, no matter you can afford. That's why uh, there are free services, such as especially in the health sector. Okay, so it does not matter that you cannot afford or you can afford, you are simply provided. Uh, for that service okay that is in line with what to produce okay the other question is in what quantities in what quantities what quantities to produce in what quantities to produce how does it answer this question it answers this question by the fact that it produces what is sufficient it produces an amount that
that is sufficient okay it produces the amount of what is sufficient it does not matter that the market demands it or not it simply provide for those uh, for everyone okay so that is in line with the command economy that is in line with the command economy okay the other one is the mixed economy is the mixed economy okay so the mixed economy it's just a mixture of a market economy it's just a mixture it is comprised of of the mixture of a a mixture of a market and command economy okay so this is a type of economy now which is applicable which is applicable because we do not have an economy in which only the private sector owns and controls all resources or only the government so these two the market economy and the command economy they are on different extremes one is on the other extreme compared to the other okay so now with regard to a mixed economy we are saying that we now have an economy whereby some resources they are owned and controlled by the private sector and also we have other resources that are owned and controlled by the private sector and also we have the private sector which is able to decide what to produce for whom to produce for and in what quantities to produce we also have a the government in that same economy which answers the fundamental economic questions of what to produce for whom to produce for and in what quantities to produce so this is a type of economy which is very applicable we both have private the private sector and we also have the government sector okay so everything uh, in line with the mixed economy it constitute everything that is within the market economy that is also within the command economy okay so let's take a look on uh, so this is what we are supposed to cover the different economic systems yes of course we have another one which is uh, known as the traditional but this one is not a, a much common uh, economic system so we place much emphasis on the command system the market system and the mixed uh, economic system the traditional uh, we used to be to have a traditional uh, economic system uh, where in the era of butter trade and the like so everything was centered on traditional ways but we have these three common ones which include the command economy which include the market economy which also include the mixed economy okay so south africa's economy is a mixed economy why because uh, we have the private sector which owns and controls some resources we also have the government which owns and controls some resources okay so we have the private sector which can provide for health services we have the private sector which can provide for education we also have uh, the government which does provide for health for health services as well as uh, education okay so it means that south africa is a what is a mixed economy okay so the men behind uh, economic systems yes we have adam smith we have Karl marx and then we have john maynard keynes but don't worry much about about that one it's it's, it's, it's not much of fundamental importance okay the concepts is, is what what matters most okay so this is uh, what we were supposed to do today we were supposed to cover the second chapter so basically on this second chapter you only have to notice what characteristics are available in a, a com traditional economy whereby we had butter trade in a command economy what 
or what is comprised of the command economy, what is comprised of the market economy, what is also comprised of the mixed economy. Okay, so the characteristics uh, does matter. Uh, what is constituted within each of these economic systems and how does it differ from the other economic system okay and on an applicable scale south africa's is a what is a mixed economy okay so this is what we we supposed to cover today this is what we're supposed to cover today so uh when we do our next class we will go to chapter three whereby we shall take a look on production income and spending in the mixed economy okay when we shall take a look on production income and spending which are the three methods of calculating national income we shall take a look on sources of production yes factors of production land labor capital entrepreneurship the remuneration which is the return uh, for land is rent for labor uh, wages and salaries for capital is interest the sources of spending we have four spending entities which includes consumption uh, which includes investment government expenditure and net exports we shall also take a look on a, uh, on a simple diagram uh, whereby we combine uh, these spending entities and then we shall illustrate the secular flow model income and then we'll be done with chapter three okay so it's fine uh, let's meet uh, on our next class